Here in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of how to store GIS feature points and lines. Uh, so I've just started a new project here, and if I expand uh, the data panel out, and I'm already in um, my codes panel here. Uh, so what you're looking at on the side here are all of um, the GIS uh, points and line codes that are stored in the feature file here uh, that I want to use to collect uh, some points here. Uh, so the first um, example I'll show is um, collecting a culvert GIS uh, feature. So if I just select on that using the lines data panel, it automatically sets the culvert um, code as active. And if I just uh, prompt an observation here, it'll store the points um, position. And here it'll just bring me into um, the attribute screen here. Uh, so I've set the uh, culvert code um, if it was an incorrect feature code uh, that you selected, uh, just use the arrow picker on the side there uh, to go back into your code list and um, change out the code there for the correct one. Uh, but since this is the correct code for myself, then all I want to do now is just add um, the additional attributes that are tied to this feature. Uh, so for the culvert, it's a PVC type. And for the remark section here, we'll just input um, the size of the culvert here. And the layer that's associated uh, for this feature and then um, once everything looks good um, for the points attributes, uh, you can just hit save. And that saves um, the feature with the attributes there. If at any time uh, you do need to edit the attribute, um, just select on the point from the map screen and just hit edit point. And this will just bring you back into the points attributes page here for you to edit uh, the feature code or the attributes if needed. Uh, but I'll just save this with no changes. And if I flip back to um, my codes panel, and if I just demonstrate um, how to s collect a feature line, GIS feature line here, I'll just select on the fence wall code here, and you'll see down on the top of toolbar, it au automatically sets uh, the fence wall code and also the fence wall one figure. And if I just move um, over here, And then if I prompt the observation uh, for the fence wall, uh, for the line here, it's going to ask um, for the attributes for this line, uh, just like the points. Uh, if you did need to change the code, just use the picker and uh, go into your codes list and just exchange the code out there if needed. Um, but the code is correct here and I'll just fill in the attributes. Uh, so this is a chain link fence for the type and then uh, the size of the chain link fence for the remark is just three feet by eight and then the length of this fence And then uh, the layer. And once you enter in the attributes and just quickly review them uh, just to make sure they are what you intend to store and then just hit save. Uh, so this stores the first um, point for the line and then um, now what you have to do is move and uh, collect the other end of the line there. Uh, so if we start um, and prompt the next point here,
and then it automatically brings us um, back into the new point page here for the line attributes and it'll when you store uh, the second point uh, for the vertex for the line there it'll just reuse uh, the attributes uh, that were entered in um, when you stored the first point uh, so just hit save and you'll see it does um, store that line there and then if you did have another um, vertex with the same line attributes uh, you can move and collect uh, the next line entity that also um, has the same line attributes there uh, so if I just store this point now uh, you'll see it just brings us back to the new point page and it is just reusing uh, the same attributes that were stored um, from the first point there for the line and then just hit save and then if at any time um, you did need to edit um, the attributes on this line just select on the line and then there's an edit GIS attributes option on the quick action menu uh, for you to come in and change the line attributes here if needed uh, but I'll just save this with no changes and that is a quick overview of how to store GIS uh, feature points and lines